Hello everyone, and welcome back to Shadowrun with Jake Arbitage, done by myself, Lucky Loremaster. Alright, now we're back in the action, and we have our little friend Akimi in tow. It's time to take a step up and get after the nasty, nasty Aniki Corporation who's been causing us all this grief and who has this deadly AI program that they're supposedly going to use to take over the entire Matrix. So now, with Akimi in tow, who has a unique sprite, as you might see, we can be able to wield our magics and pretty much plow through these guys with extreme prejudice. But remember, we have to make sure that she stays invisible, because otherwise she'll be in a world of hurt, and we definitely don't want that. We do have very two very well experienced mages coming at them now, so they're they're in real trouble is what's going on here. Whoa! One damage for getting hit by a car. Not very nice as far as the car's concerned, but hey, let's keep going. Should be a good sign of things to come. Jake will be the one who makes him invisible, and well I think we'll use her talents to a more destructive bent. I think that might be a bit more satisfying. Alright, here we are on the third floor. So as soon as we run into the next room, we're going to make ourselves invisible. Um, um, crap, 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 crap. Okay, there she is. Now she's, she's safe. And uh, we can start using her talents appropriately. How about you cast a nice, fun um, powerball spell? Center on that guy. Boom! Ooh, yeah. Look at that. So much damage. All right, they're gonna fall back again, and I think we'll put another one right in their midst. How's that sound? Oh, oh yeah, that's fun. All right, well, Jake might as well start shooting because these guys obviously need to be put down, put down fast. And what better way to do that than with some massive firepower from our AS cannon? Hold still, you little fuckers. There we go. Come on, and we got him. Alright, she probably got hurt in the opening fire. Yeah, see? She's still quite vulnerable despite being such a powerful mage. You have to make sure that, uh, you have to make it so Akimi doesn't get too exposed, otherwise she's in real trouble. Alright, so we'll have her heal herself. And I don't think there are any other enemies here, but who knows. Ah, oh, there's one, but this guy is not so strong. Yeah, see, she barely took in any damage at all from him. Alright, we took out the mages, and we took out these nasty, uh, fighters that were getting on our way. As you might be able to tell by her name and her sprite, Akimi is from Japan. If you weren't able to tell. She's quite handy to have around. Alright, let's see what computers are, uh, available here. we got a computer over there. That one is... no good. And there's this one far in the corner. Let's see if that one's accessible. Nope! Looks like that one right over there is the ticket. Alright, time to get hacking. Like only Jake can. Cyberdeck, go! Aniki Corporation Network. Please wait. Air tracking is on, remote sensing is on. Transfer control shortly. Alright, let's do this. Combat failed, combat failed! Well, we could fail every time. Alright, this way. This is... Ah, uh, I recognize this format. Alright, well, let's go this way, then. Oop! Walked into that one. Oh, well, we've got plenty of mana to heal ourselves, so I'm not really that worried. Okay, there we go. And we got that data. And I'm pretty sure the one up there doesn't actually have anything in it. Nope. So we can skip to this next one. Okay, good. This one is actually pretty easy to get to. Got the data. Password, open it up. Taking this one. Taking that one. Alright, we can force our way over in this direction. Alright, all the ice that are in our way are now eliminated, and I'd say we can check out. 10,000 new yen, 12,500 new yen, and trash data, and a data file. So we just got 22,500 new yen, which is pretty sweet. Um, and we also got a new uh, little bit of information here. Let's see. Which one would it be? Would it be Target? Uh, no, we already saw that one. Payment, perhaps. Oh, no, withhold payment of 10 million new yen. We've seen that. 
AI and... I think we already got the data for Akimi. Yeah, we got that at Drake's Volcano. Uh, maybe the AI end? I'm not worthy to command it. No, we got that at Jake's. What about the Matrix? Matrix systems have created a program which would threaten our AI computer. There is also a courier who could still have the program intact in his head computer. Destroy them both. Nikki. Oh, yes. Well, they've certainly got our number, don't they? Not very nice for them to be like, well, kill them, kill them all, but, you know, they're a pretty evil corporation. What are you going to do? I mean, when it comes to that level of civility, it, it just it's just right out the window here. It's unfortunate that it has to be that way, but it is. Okay, let's do this. All right, first and foremost, protect our little lady friend. Okay, she's safe now. But she's really not going to do much with her basic attack, so what we really ought to do is cast some nasty spells. Oh, like... Well, let's try one of those summon spirits. <laughs> oh, that's a fun spell. Great for dealing with groups. They're trying to punch through his armor, and they're having such a horrible time doing it, too. It's actually kind of funny. They're like, oh, we'll get him! Oh my gosh, why isn't my gun working? This is so terrible! Get the one in the shades! Ugh. Let me shot to ribbons. I'll get him! Watch, I have mediocre magic I can throw at him! <clears throat> oh wait, I'm dead, never mind. I forgot that I'm not immune to bullets. <laughs> or even better, no! Bullets, my only weakness! Oh, well, we have a computer there we can hack into. Uh, let's see, and it looks like two dead guys up here to search, and I doubt there are any other computers here that are searchable. We can check this one in the corner. After we get done looting all these bad guys, of course. Yep, just that one. See, she even got hit, like, for 8 and for 12 that time, so these guys do have some decent guns. You really have to be careful how long she's exposed to the enemy, because she can get taken down in an awful hurry, just like Kitsune. Okay, so let's grab our cyber deck and find ourselves an elevator. Well, we already have the password, so in we go. Wow, there is a lot of stuff here. Yeah, I know you're waiting for us. Okay, safe. Actually, it might be easier just to do it like this. Yeah. And then switch to the other end. Nice and up. Oh, walked into that one. Oh well. Nice and systematic. Okay, we got the password. Let's go on down this way. Uh, well, there's an easy way to do this. And then we can just take the rest of it. Without having to worry about any more ice. Alright, one of these is bound to be the right one. I think we're about to run out of room, though. Alright, well, we're out of storage. We're just gonna smash them. That should work. Trash data discarded. Elevator activated. Very well done. Alright, we need some more powerful healing. He has a more powerful level healing spell, so we'll use that. Now that everyone's in tip-top shape again, uh, she's got 150 mana left, and Jake has 130, so we've got no issues here. We might want to consider using the armor spell as well, although I think I might put that on Jake rather than her, because it's important that she doesn't get attacked at all. Alright, we're on the fourth floor now. Let's put our invisibility down quickly. Come on. Oh, there we go. She's alright now. And we can blast away. Alright, I wanna I wanna see that lovely little summon spirit spell in action again. Alright, so elite Kimi, please cast Summon Spirit. Oh, 17 and 16 damage, and it just goes ripping through them. I love that spell. So much fun. Prepare to die, fool! 
Now, they keep saying that, but it just never works out for them. It's really a shame, because you can tell they're trying, but... They just... The execution is just severely lacking. They really need to spend a little bit more time in... Evil Corporation Training School, before they could really, uh, I don't know... Accomplish what they had set out. Alright, well, it looks like there's only one computer to hack here. We'll see if this one is either the elevator or money. Let's... or information, as the case might be. In we go. Hmm. I see your games. Putting the tough ice in here. We'll take care of them. Man, that corridor is just lined with nasty ice. Well, we opened up the lines. Let's see what's down here. Oh, plenty of stuff. Well, first let's use one of these to get rid of the ice so we don't have anything to worry about. Make our lives considerably simpler. Thank you! Uh, well, actually, before we leave... No, that's it. 25,000 new yen. Trash data. That's it. All they had was money. And now we have 50,000 new yen. We already have the best weapons and armor. I don't even know what to spend it on at this point. I guess I could just go back to the club and hire, like, all of the most expensive Shadowrunners just for giggles. I suppose that... Oh, crap! We're getting ambushed! Protect thyself, Hakimi! Oh, it looks like this guy actually has a decent gun. Problem for him is we have a decent gun, too. So his little trick did not work. Okay, let's take his new yin, which he graciously donated to us, and heal ourselves as well. Doop -a -doo. Okay, there we go. She's all set. And let's see, we'll get invisibility ready. Oop, and she's safe. Alright, well, let's see. Let's have some fun with it. We'll cast, um... Her armor spell's not very good. We could cast a free spell, but we don't really need to incapacitate these guys. Let's just go in and summon spear for giggles. Just watch that thing just tear people apart. That's always fun. You guys don't even stand a chance. So just be gracious and die like civilized enemies. Oh, the damage on this AS cannon. It really just kind of breaks the game once you get this equipment. <laughs> it's just murder anything <laughs> without much difficulty. Um, hmm. Oh, there seem to be very many computers over here. Not very much at all. Um, oh yeah, no, there's this putz. Okay, uh, let's see, this one... Is that any good? Yes, it is. And that one is not. So let's get hacking. Oh, yep, that's our cyber deck. PCD-100. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay, punch through that one. Here, got a pretty straight shot through. Just have to make sure that we blast these ice out of the way. We opened up the lines. Seems to be a smaller system. No complaints there. And we're done. Elevator activated. Alright, we got jumped coming out of the elevator, so we make sure to keep our invisibility spell at on hand. I'm kind of worried that they're going to pop up again. Nope. Okay, we are on the fifth floor now. Let's see, all set. Let's do this. Oop, and she's okay. Let's get rid of these scumbags quick. The ones that are a bit too close for comfort. 
Come on, there we go. 9, 7, 12, 17, 17. Oh, it's just not even fair at this point. Don't let him get away! Because it's totally working out for you! <laughs> a lot of karma through all this fighting, too. I'm kind of curious just how much. Now we're at 27. Getting up there. Um, actually, I want him to save his his magic. He's, he's been using up a lot of it. I'm actually going to have Akimi do the healing from now on. Uh, heal us. And, of course, yourself. Hush, your babbling disturbs the silence. Well, I can tell you, there, very, there wasn't very much silence just now. I mean, what with all the killing and spellcasting and fighting and all, but, eh, who am I to, to call that out? Got one computer there, and it looks like that's pretty much it. So let's get all hacky with it. Knock, knock. Blast these lines open. They're not standing in our way. Wow, failing that combat really hurt. That must have been a powerful ice. Blast those lines open. We'll take these data stores. Thank you very much. Do, 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 do. Fight our way to where we're headed. Is there more down here? Ow. Oh, brutal. Yes, there is. Good thing we double checked. And we got the data. Let's check out. What do we got? Trash data? 50,000 new yen? 20,000 new yen? 50,000 new yen. We just got 85,000 new yen. Oh my gosh. We do not need any more money. We now have 137,000 new yen. I'm actually kind of disappointed I didn't spend more money earlier on in the game because now it's kind of approaching absurdity levels of wealth. Oh my god. Gosh, that is ridiculous. That is so insane. I couldn't spend that much money. Unless I just want to start collecting equipment. Alright, well, let's see what's waiting for us in here. Hopefully nothing too terrible. We've got invisibility ready. Uh-oh. Yeah, this looks this looks bad. Invisibility! Do, do, me too! And this actually might be a great time to deploy our armor spell also. Since I'm going to be target number one. And, in fact, Akimi, I think it's time that we you actually cast some nasty fun spells, too. Like, oh, I don't know, summon spirit? Like, I'm not talking once. I'm talking, like, twice. I'm talking, like, spamming that crap. Boom. Like, eat their face off with angry animals from outer space. Arg, I'm hit! Man, that did, like, 24 damage on that one guy. Oh, they are being ripped to pieces. What about this dude in the suit? I think you need to pay the price, pal. Boom! Down he goes. This is a rather funny looking office. Alright, lots of Nuyen. Thank you for your donations. Very generous. Very generous indeed. And I think a little bit of healing could go a long way, just to make sure. This is starting to look like a pretty important area. Hmm, what exactly is going on here? Now oh, that's the AI computer. Interesting. And there doesn't seem to be anything on the desk. Well, it looks like it's time for the final hack. Let's grab our cyber deck and plug in. Or, or not. Or we won't. It'll just say we're too far away. <laughs> there we go. Passing to a Nikki Corporation network. Please wait. 
Hi there, evil AI corporate program. Oh wow, it's kind of busy in here. Did you not protect your ice? That's kind of a problem because... Oh, Alright, well that was pretty straightforward. Let's see what's on the next little roundabout. Well, we should be able to get to that easily enough. Is this it? Is this your AI protection? I don't think so! I believe we just destroyed their network. Oh, and it kind of makes like a weird little icon or face. Like a little spider face. That's kind of what it looks like to me. Oh well, it's dead. Program downloaded. Jeez, things are starting to look a little bit flammable in here. Hmm. Uh, we should probably leave, Akini. This is... This is looking a little bit dicey here. Warning, 20 seconds until detonation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't do that. Okay, we're going up to the roof. Quickly now, quickly. Is our old pen helicopter pilot there? Oh, crap! Arbitage, I've been expecting you. You will pay for your sabotage. And this is actually a cutscene. Apparently we revert to our pistol, and we blow away three troll shaman and uh, some stupid uh, guy in a suit. All the Shadowrunners we're with, uh, die for some random reason. I guess if only to show just how badass Jake is. Part of the their power pretty much explodes where the AI was. And that's the ending! There you go! That was Shadowrun for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Starring our old grumpy face Jake Armitage. Who blasted his way to freedom. Apparently not even bothering with his AS cannon, but his beaky little pistol. While any and all Shadowrunners you're with get executed by the nasty trolls that come to stop you from leaving. <laughs> as far as endings go, it's actually pretty lousy, but uh, it's a fun little game. I would say that in terms of replayability, it's inferior to the Genesis title, but it's still fun nonetheless, and uh, a memorable part of the Shadowrun series as far as console systems and computer systems go. So yeah, there you go, that's the LP. I enjoyed it. It was a nice little trip down memory lane. And uh, the plans for the future, well, there's gonna be some major modifications to the LP schedule. I'm gonna let everyone know uh, just what's going on in an update video relatively soon. Needless to say, things are going to be changing quite a bit around here, and I think for the better. Um, I've been studying the LP habits of more successful uh, and more popular Let's Players, and it seems like um, a network where we feature less LPs but more weekly content would actually be better, because I experimented with this system that I've been doing now with one LP of five different, one video of five different LPs a week, going by the weekdays, and it doesn't really seem to be enough. I thought it would, considering that's like a television show schedule, but uh, apparently not, apparently not. Okay, so we're gonna switch to that, and we'll go over some other details in this update video that I'm uh, going to be having soon, along with information other than that. You have done well, young one. Your destiny is now in your hands. Live long, whelp. Live long. Thanks, dog! If only you'd come closer, Jake. I almost had you in my grasp. Creepy ex-girlfriend! Ah! The rat shaman. It turned out wrong for me, that's all. Well, you're the one who attacked us, although we were the one inv who invaded your home. So... Oh, hey, it's the vampire! Hey there! When you run, I will not hurt you, Jake. You know you can trust me. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't even try lying to us. It's the Naga! Oh, what a nice little guy. He didn't have anything to say, though. Tell me, Jake, did you guess, or did you know? I'm pretty sure we guessed. Oh, and it's our old friend Golden Naga! We cannot allow you to escape. We had to stop you. I don't remember him talking. Don't hurt us! Keep away! 
All the memories. We know nothing. We just work here. And apparently by working here, we know nothing. And our old pal Drake. The horrible fire breath. This isn't the end, Armitage. We'll meet again in Shadowrun 2. <laughs> it's just gonna be decades later, that's all. The Shadowrunners were... Hamfist! We remember him. Jenga Dance. He was the other guy at the first bar we found, but we never hired him. He's not that good. Orifice! He's basically like Hamfist, but at the, the next bar. Dances with Clams. Kind of similar to Jenga Dance. Not really that remarkable. Frog Tongue. We did use his services. He's a pretty tough orc fighter. Anders. We used him a few times. He's got his machine gun. Jet Boy, uh, if you ever need a hacker and you don't feel like hacking yourself, he's the wrong choice. Norbert, oh, everyone loves a crazy dwarf with a machine gun and red hair. Kitsune, yeah, we had fun with her. It's a shame she kept getting killed, but, you know, that's what happens when you don't wear any armor. Spatter, he was actually one of the mages in the expensive club. Uh, and Steel Flight, he was probably the best uh, AI, or uh, yeah, non-character hacker. Akimi, yep, you just saw her in action. Best spellcaster in the game. It's pretty quiet around here, Sam. Remember what happened last time you said that? You have reached the end. <laughs> Thank you for playing Shadowrun. I don't know why Jake would return here. Maybe just to scare these guys again. Hey, look what! I'm not- I'm the dead guy! Oh my god! And they go running back to the closet. Who knows what they were thinking. What Jake was thinking going back there. But there you go, everybody, that's Shadowrun. If uh, you have the Super Nintendo, can uh, find an uh, old cartridge of it, I advise picking it up. I actually still have mine. Of course, you can always uh, get it through other means as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, and take care, have fun, and see you in the other LPs, friends. Alright, later, everybody.